All right, not a fan of today's heat and humidity. Well, you don't have to wait too long. Tomorrow, a refreshing change. But with three days left in the month of August, the month is set to go down a little bit wetter than average and certainly warmer than normal. And looking back to meteorological summer, June, July, August, that three-month period, on track for the Harvard area to be the warmest since records have been kept. Again, those date back to 1905. Right now, a warm but otherwise tranquil night underway looking live from Waterbury 76 in the Brass City and north wind at eight miles an hour uh, beautiful as well coming in from the southeastern corner of the state from Mystic uh, so coastal communities right now upper 70s still low 80s that's the case in New Haven and Bridgeport inland 79 and Hartford 73 Putnam we've got low to mid 70s across the hills of Litchfield County so compared to this time last night we're up by five to nearly 10 degrees across Connecticut but by the time we get to tomorrow morning it is going to feel much cooler than this morning as cooler drier air continues to move in on a north northeasterly wind that wind right now at around 5 to 15 miles an hour occasionally we're getting some gusts up to around 20 miles an hour so dew point values that today are been in the low and mid 70s you can see drier air filtering south we're at a dew point of 57 in boston 51 in burlington vermont so that drier and as well cooler air heads in our direction actual air temperatures across northern New England uh, right now in the lower 60s. So that's what we're going to be waking up to tomorrow morning. The front has moved south of us, south of us, and uh, we've been tracking some scattered showers and storms along that, but those have been fizzling. Uh, temperatures as we head through the overnight hours, we'll be bottoming out in the upper 50s, low 60s inland, low and mid 60s along the 95 quarter under a partly cloudy sky. Then tomorrow, we'll see a blend of sun and clouds, dry weather for our Thursday. We've got that northeasterly flow, so temps tomorrow only top out near the 70 degree mark across the hills of Litchfield County and as well as in the quiet corner uh, mid 70s up and down 91 and also low to mid 70s along the 95 quarter so high pressure on Friday that's going to be building out of Canada is going to try to keep or hope to keep wet and cloudy weather to the west of Connecticut as we close out the week so we're forecasting a mostly sunny and pleasantly cool end uh, to this final week of August but as high pressure moves farther offshore as we had Friday into Saturday, a couple things are going to happen. On the back side of that, a southwesterly flow is going to increase the humidity and then eventually allow this cold front from the west to approach. So enjoying, of course, that break from the high humidity with lower dew point values Thursday into Friday, spiking briefly on Saturday. That's when that cold front is going to be moving through. Saturday, we're thinking through the daylight hours, primarily dry, but becoming mostly cloudy. Rain chances increase toward and after sunset. They'll likely linger into Sunday morning, at least as we see it. Now, this is still an evolving situation, so stay with Channel 3 and, of course, the uh, free WFSB weather app to stay up to date. As of course, it's a holiday weekend. We want to see how the rain uh, factors into any sort of outdoor plans, but we're thinking early Sunday and then by the afternoon, some clearing gets underway and there's just a low in chance for a shower to pop up then. Uh, so on Saturday, muggy near 80, 80 to 85 on Sunday, and then Labor Day Monday, highs in the mid 70s, so about 10 degrees cooler compared to Sunday, low humidity, ample sunshine, and more of the same can be expected. Tuesday and a Wednesday of next week. Okay, Mark, thank you.